Matia Valley playing host to Nequa Valley in girls tennis on a sunny Thursday afternoon. The meet's top singles match features Mustang Manasa Nakanti and Emily Chow from Nequa Valley. Chow after her match said that she didn't feel too great about her forehand, but you won't be able to tell from this volley and she smashes the ball past Nakanti with that forehand stroke. The Wildcat front woman was placing the ball well all match. Here she freezes her opponent in the forehand again to earn points towards her cause. Chow takes down Nakanti in straight sets 6-0, 6-0. Second singles showcase Hannah Kestenberg for Niqua doing battle against Sophia Kehu of Matia. After a short rally, Kehu takes advantage of the rainbow return to scan the court and place the ball just out of the reach of Kestenberg. Little revenge here as Kestenberg swiftly moves to her right to keep alive a volley that would result in her opponent returning the ball into the net. The Wildcat goes on to take this match in straight sets 6-1, 6-1. The top doubles match included Sangita Siva and Serena Salim from Matia Valley with Abigail Allen and Emily Piao from Nequa Valley. Teamwork makes the dream work here as Piao, playing as the up man, asserts her authority to collect points for the Wildcats. Imitation is flattery, and Salim flatters Emily Piao by returning the favor and shooting this ball past her. Last lap goes to Piao though as he drops back to make a great backhanded return that Salim would aim long. NV takes it, 6-3, 6-4. Second doubles, Tanisha Agawal and Victoria Yin of Nequa Valley square off against Alicia Aria and Hersha Gangasani. Off the serve from Gangasani, we get a little back and forth before Agawal puts her long backhand into the net. However, Nequa wins this battle 6-0, 6-1 after a great return from Agawal and Yin. They would also win the war with Mattia, 6-1. Uh, my serve was pretty good today. I could make all my make most of my first serves, and I was going for some of my second serves, so that was pretty good. And then uh, my backhand was pretty good today. I think the forehand was a little, eh, but like my backhand was pretty solid. Well, first of all, we uh, it's better to understand how the person plays in the first time, so. Uh, basically just uh, understanding how the player plays, looking at their playing style and adapting your playing style so they can fit together. Right, I would agree. And then also just motivating them both to keep their strengths high and then build on their weaknesses. I think that's a big part of doubles and that really just helps us. Mm -hmm.